there are different type of doors by default in Revit that you can select or you can download them online. But sometimes you need to model them yourself with special design or options. At the end of this video, you will see that it's easier to model it yourself than wasting your time to search for one. Open a new family in door and first set your unit. Let's change this scene before we start a little bit. I'm going to delete these frames and also go to family type and delete these parameters too. Then I'm going to go to 3D view and change the scale, visual style and detail level. Select your wall and go to its edit type. Go to edit and change its thickness to 10 cm. Go to its material and change its color to this one. This is optional actually. Okay. Let's start with casing. Go to exterior view and in create tab select reference plan. With pick line and offset of 21 millimeter. Create references in this part, in here and in this part. Inside this door. Now let's go to ref level and create some other reference plans with pick line and offset of 2 cm in this part, in here and another one in here and two other reference plans in this part. Create dimension for this part and also here. Let's change this scale and don't forget to lock them. I'm going to create another one for this part and another one for here we're going to turn this one to a parameter which we are going to call frame or casing thickness go back to exterior view and select this sweep click on sketch pass for selecting the path of your sweep and use this pick line first in here in this part and in here hit finish and go to this edit profile I'm going to use this floor plan for it, but if you want, you can use this one or 3D views. In here, I'm going to create my frame exactly on these lines. I'm going to start from here to here and then here, this one. And exactly like the other side, I'm going to continue in here. Now I'm going to use a line for locking these lines with these reference lines. First select your reference line, then click on the line and then lock it. Make sure that you are selecting the reference plan exactly. Hit finish and this is our frame. Let's change the height and width to see if it's working properly. I'm going to change the height to 2 and width to 1 meter. Perfect. Let's check also this frame thickness, for example, to 8 cm. Perfect. Now let's go to ref level and in this part we are going to create another reference plan but with other kind of subcategory. Let's call it red and change its color to this one. Okay. I'm going to use this pick line and offset of 2 mm and I'm going to create one in this part. Then I'm going to select this one and turn it into the red reference plan. After that, I'm going to go to create and this time I will select this reference line. Of course, with another color. Let's call this one red too and change its color and also its line pattern if you want. Okay. Then I'm going to create one exactly from this point. Now I'm going to use this align for locking this line with this point exactly. Hit tab if you can't find the point. Lock it and do the same for this line too. Okay, then create a angular dimension from this line to here. And let's turn it into a parameter. Select it and click on this part and give it a name, something like open door. And put it on instance if you want. Let's first see if it's working properly. Go to family type and change this open door to let's say 15 degree. Perfect. Now before we continue, I'm going to create dimension for this part for locking these two lines 
I'm going to create one for here and another one for this part to here. Make sure you're selecting the reference line and lock them both. I also want to turn this one to red reference plan too and again I'm going to create a dimension from this part to here and lock it. Next part is to go to 3D view and create the main panel. So I'm going to go to create and select this extrusion and I'm going to set my work plan on this side of this reference line exactly this one then i'm going to click on this family type and put this open door on zero to close it completely now let's go to exterior view select rectangle and draw one in this part now we are going to use a line for locking it with this red reference plan this one the other one is this one in here which we didn't turn it into red so i'm going to click on it and then this line and then i'm going to lock it again do the same with this one and lock it for this part i'm going to select this referable and then i'm going to lock it with that as you can see it's a little bit too much so i'm going to change it to let's say five centimeter and i'm going to put a minus in here to have it exactly inside our panel now let's go to 3d view and to this family type in here i'm going to change its height to 2.4 okay its width to 1.2 perfect let's check its opening for example on 50 degree perfect okay this is basically everything you need to know about doors how you model the frame how you model the panel how you lock different parts via reference plans and also how to create permits for different parts so from this point you can be creative and make it personalized you can change the frame and use a different profile for it you can change the panel you can add mullion or different parts to it or something like this therefore i'm going to first close this door and then we are going to create a very simple glass panel for this door go to exterior view and create a reference plan with let's say other color blue for example with this peak line and offset of let's say 70 centimeter in this part create another one with the same type and this peak line and offset of let's say 30 centimeter in two side of this center line then i'm going to create dimension for this part and also for these two parts make them equal however it's equal already and create a parameter for this part select it and turn it into a parameter let's call it center a also select this one and turn it into a parameter center b now select this door and copy it on itself go to its edit extrusion and use peak line for this part and here select this start and radius arc and create an arc from this point to here like this let's zoom in and lock it with this line select it again and mirror it to the other side select this one and also lock it with this line okay now let's trim these parts together and delete these extra parts hit finish and let's go to 3d view make it a little bit bigger from both sides and from this part turn it into a void if it's not working use cut first click on your panel and then select this void let's check it real quick go to family type and change this part to 50 centimeter and this part to let's say 80 centimeter hit apply and both sides works properly 
okay now select the panel again and copy it on itself go to its edit extrusion and in exterior side you can use this pick line to select all of these lines use trim for these parts and delete the rest of lines now use this pick line again and bit offset of one centimeter create another line inside this part and hit finish now if you want to control the thickness of this frame you need to select it and change it from this part i'm going to add one centimeter from each part so i'm going to turn this one to six and this one to one centimeter for the last time copy it on itself and go to its edit extrusion this is its glass so we are going to delete this outer loop now hit finish and go to ref level i'm going to change this one to zero and this one i think it's good to be like three centimeter okay now i think it's time for assigning material format for different parts let's start with this glass select it and click on this part click on here for creating a new parameter and let's call it glass okay and okay for this framing i'm going to assign one material so i'm going to create one for both of them let's call it metal and for this main panel, I'm going to create another one which we are going to call, for example, wood. Or if you want to use another material, you can use that. Go to family type and change this one to this glass. I'm going to change its color to... Okay. For this metal, I'm going to create a new material which we are going to call metal simply and i'm going to select this one for example let's go to its graphic and change its color to something like this and for this wood i'm not going to use wood actually i'm going to create another material for it which i'm going to call panel and i'm going to just simply change its color to something like this and okay perfect this is our door for its handle however we can model it in here i think it would be much better to model it in another family and load it to this part so i'm going to go to file and create a new families in generic model we are going to model our handrail in front view so i'm going to first create a reference plan in this part and I'm going to create a parameter for it. So for this, just select it and click on this part. Select this dimension and create a parameter like this. I'm going to call it handle height. Now create extrusion with this circle in this part and also in here. Only three centimeters is enough for the ra radius. Select this one and check this box in here to show its center and hit finish. For their extrusion, one centimeter is enough. Now select this reference line behind them and turn it into a strong reference. And use a line for locking it with this circle. It doesn't matter which part, just lock it with this circle okay now let's go to left view and create another reference plan with offset of let's say eight centimeter in this part use this align dimension for this part and turn it into a parameter let's call it handle width now we are going to create a sweep for this part Click on this sketch pass and with this pick line, first click on here in this part and then in here. Trim them together and move this line to here exactly. 
hit finish and go to its edit profile for its profile in front view we are going to create a very small circle with like eight millimeter radius this is good this is exactly what we needed but i think if we fillet these parts it will be much better so select it and go to left view in a sketch pass just create a fillet for this part and another one for here select all parts and create a permit for their material click on here and let's call it simply handle now we can load it into our family let's put it in this part for now for fixing this handle on this door we need to create another one of these and set it exactly on this parameter so first i'm going to align this panel with this handle like this and then i'm going to create a dimension from this part to here exactly and i'm going to choose this open door for it now i'm going to align it one more time and now if we change this open door from here to let's say 20 they will both move together for now let's change it to zero and go to this exterior i'm going to move it up a little bit and then align it this line exactly with this strong reference plan and lock it now select it again and go to its edit type and change its height to one meter for example perfect this is our parametric swing door and i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial